Well, he was right about one thing. I didn't see that coming. Okay. <clears throat> Talk about one division. Because I had a theory. <clears throat> well, okay. I don't have a theory about what exactly is going on. I'll, okay, I do, but I'm not talking about it right now. But now, the big question is, anyone who's see okay, spoilers for the show if you haven't seen it up to episode five by now. Just putting that out there. My thi okay. I should have written this down first because I. I tend to talk over my words when I, t when I just ad lib. Anywho. <clears throat> okay. Everyone's talking about it. We're, I mean, one of the big mysteries about WandaVision is where she got the power to control a whole town. I mean, ser seriously, she was like basically just lifting stuff. And, and think, and it, my theory. I have a th okay. I have a theory. Okay, it goes back to where where she and Pietro got their powers. Because so far we have seen three people getting their powers from the Infinity Stones: Wanda, Pietro, and Carol Danvers. Now, Wanda and Pietro both got their powers from the Mind Stone, which somehow gave one super speed and one telekinesis and one be able to move objects. So my theory is all the stones are interconnected. Yeah, I mean, like on some cosmo cosmic quantum level. So when they got the powers, even though the conduit was the mind stone, Wanda got her powers from the reality stone, and Vi and the Pietro got his from the from the from the time stone. Basically, his speed, the way I figure his speed works is it's like a localized time displacement field and everything. And like time just speeds up near infinity in his immediate vicinity. It slows down around him. So it's just, that's my theory. And Wanda, of course, can manipulate anything in, in her immediate area. Now, Where'd she get the enough power to do what she's doing now? Simple. In remember in Infinity War. Oh, by the oh by the way, well I'm, I'm on, a, on a little side theory. Carol Danvers' power, which was given to her from the through the space stone, space stone, actually came from the power stone. Which, if you stop and think about it, makes a lot of sense because she has like immense power. Theory. Anyways, back to what? Back to WandaVision. Okay, my my thinking is in Infinity War, when in Infinity War, when when she destroyed the, the Mind Stone, she got a second dose of energy from it. And this one, because she had already been linked to a a, a stone, gave her the powers of all six stones. Probably not not nearly as strong as say the Infinity Gauntlet, or she'd be like take over the whole planet or something. But, but enough to to warp the minds and the reality of all of everyone in the town of of Westfield, I think. Yeah, Westfield. Yeah. So yeah, that basically that's where I figure she got all that power from because she's tapping into all six stones. Because she can re rewind things with the time stone, warp reality, and has. And so yeah, that is that is my theory. And uh, as for the big bad behind, because yeah, in theory, it looks like Wanda is doing it, but obviously something is contro controlling her. <clears throat> so okay, well. Okay, I know online the big theory is it's Mephisto, but that seems too obvious to me. And I know there are two big bats coming coming into the MCU very soon, Kang and Doctor Doom. And my theory is 
at, you know, after she came back after, from the snap and everything, she had a, a bit of a psychotic break, started u using the power, and either Doom or Kang is manipulating it for their, for their own end. Probably Kang, if you, because, of, because she managed to draw uh, Quicksilver from, the, from a parallel universe. That, using it for his own ends, but who knows? But, well, anyways, that is just a theory. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts. Leave, if you have your own ideas, leave a note in the comments. Uh. You like what I'm saying, you know, like, subscribe, share, all that crap. And, uh, talk to you later.